Today I'm doing a bedroom build off. Modern bedroom versus luxury bedroom versus pastel bedroom. I'm only allowing myself 15 minutes per room. Each room gets a budget of 50,000 and you guys get to vote which one you think is best. So make sure to stick around. Also appreciate the pastel outfit please. With all that introduced though, let's get started on the modern bedroom. Okay guys, so oh my gosh wait, we've got a timer and I'm just sat here dilly dallying like hi guys. Okay, so obviously it's a six by six. I think maybe Maybe if we do just like a tiny indent. And you might be thinking, what on earth are you going to put in there, Reese's? Don't fear, guys. A bookshelf. And I'm not going to let the time limit like affect me negatively. That sounds so spiritual, but I'm being serious. I'm just going to pretend it's not there. Let's see if that turns out to be a good idea. And I just basically was lying in bed late last night when I had this idea. I was like, I really want to do a bedroom build off. But it was a bit short notice to get like fans on and stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a bedroom build off with myself. However, do comment down below if you want me to do a build off with fans again like I used to. Anyway, I just I'm obsessed with chit chatting. Do you know what my slow part is though? The colouring. When I colour stuff it takes me yonks to pick the textures. My favourite part about beds is decorating them like oh. Anyway guys I was about to say my normal little speech I love summer. It's so nice it's summer Well no actually it's raining again. It's not good enough. It's actually not good enough. I'm actually wasting so much time on these pillows and they don't even look that good. Do you know what this bed kind of looks like? It looks like one of those water beds you get, which is the mattress is like made of water. I'm terrified of that. Like, wouldn't you just be scared? In the middle of the night, you're gonna like fall through it. <laughs> Imagine that, would be so funny. Do you know what? I have a good building hack for you guys. Get a table lamp and get a vase. <laughs> Literally everyone knows this. But then you get the vase and then you make it like black and white and then you put the lamp. <gasps> You've got to admit that does look pretty, pretty cool. Obviously it's a modern room. This is my one excuse to use LEDs. Next up is paintings above the bed. And you might think I'm going to use these modern ones. No, uh, our soul sister. I'm going to be <laughs> using, I don't know what that was. I'm going to be using these ones. Next up, we need to fill in these bookshelves and we only have 10 minutes left. Maybe um, I should start getting my groove on a little bit. <laughs> what the hell am I talking about today? I'm actually delirious. Last night I went to bed early, especially so I could film this video this morning. And yeah, I really can't be bothered to put all that stuff in again. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. Oh my gosh. Also, I literally was ignoring the budget. But to be fair, the budget's actually massive. I really like these windows and have them all along this wall. I'm loving this so far. I'm getting a little bit wary of our time limit because we have like eight minutes, 10. But you know, also, I don't know what kind of person would be in this room. I'm guessing like 30 year old business lady. But at the same time, it could be like a teenager's room. Like you, you just can't tell. Also, I've just realized we haven't put any wall trims in. What are we? Basic? Are we living in 2015 here? Okay, I've already decided what I want along this back wall. I want it to be an entire desk unit. You know how I said our business savvy lady lives here? Well, she's gonna do all her work in this room apparently. And do you guys remember a time on my channel? You would have to be a real OG to remember this. Like I used to never build in modern. I'd be scared of modern and now modern is literally my favorite that just goes to show people try new things right since we're on a time crunch i am just gonna copy and paste this i'm so sorry and i honestly think we're gonna have to make a custom table because otherwise it's not gonna be big enough right then we'll even make it some custom stands and since i've given myself such a big budget we can literally have like a computer we can have a laptop on the bed actually i swear that's a thing and this chair is just it just has to be this chair doesn't it guys Okay, right, we have three minutes to sort the rest of this room out. Because, like, what the heck even is this? You know what I think could help it? Some custom plants. Now, the good thing about this challenge is the time limit does not include adding decals afterwards. So, found a little loophole there, haven't I? So, we'll have a couple in each corner. And then just a couple random ones we'll put in in a minute. That just wasted so much time. What was I thinking? Oh, my gosh. We haven't done a closet. We have not done a closet. I am mental. I am mental. Help, help, help. Oh, my gosh. I need to go to a spelling bee or something. I cannot spell. Okay, I've made the closet. I'm not sure how I feel, but we have one minute left. So the last thing I'm gonna add is like a dresser over here. We haven't added any lights. Good thing I just remembered that. Um, We should probably add a roof as well. Oh my gosh, come on. Roof, 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 roof. Oh my God, it's like I'm a dog. <laughs> it's like I'm a dog. Roof, roof. That was so funny. Just a couple more lights underneath. Ah! Oh my gosh, what is the meaning of this one? That was a mistake. Let me just, let me just move that. <laughs> 
<laughs> now, let me change the decals and we can look around. Oh my gosh, why do I look so slay? Okay, guys, we're outside, all up close and personal. I don't know how this one went, so only one way to see. Okay, my immediate reaction to this is I would be very happy if this was in like a main house I owned. Here's a lovely little pan around for all you voters at home. But if I were to do a little talk through, we basically just have the bed area. We have bookshelves either side. Oh my gosh, these paintings, wow, how adorable are these? How adorable is that little moon up there? We've got a closet, which I actually put the most ugly colors going in here. What was I thinking? Personally, if I was to rank this one, obviously I haven't seen the others yet, but just generally, I'd give it a seven out of 10. Luxury, here we come. Okay, I actually have a really pristine idea of what I want for this. It involves a little like arch here. And in this little archway, I'm gonna have a window seat. Now, if you think this window seat is gonna be functional, then you think you think too well of me. <laughs> you think I'm a bit too good of a builder there, but um, I'm gonna try and make a window seat, whether it works or not. Okay though, I think that looks like a pretty good seat. Now the last step is to add the windows in. We could do custom. Um, We definitely don't have time. You know me, I'm crazy. I'm a crazy cat, so we're gonna do custom. No, we don't have time. Sensible Reese's is coming in. I am literally the most indecisive person you will ever meet. Like, you put a bowl of pasta in front of me and a pizza, I'll be sat there all day deciding which one to eat. Actually, no, I'll probably just eat them both. That looks so beautiful. And then obviously the thing that's gonna make it look like a seat is adding loads of different pillows on it. Okay, that's all. Why am I sat here like we have a million hours? I want a feature wall of wall panels. Do we have time for checkered flooring? Yes. That should never even be a question. Can you guys hear how quick my mouse is clicking right now? I feel like we're all, in general, just so used to dilly-dallying when building in Bloxburg. So, obviously, we're having a four-poster bed. Like, what on earth would this be without one? The only thing with these four-poster beds, the pillows are so annoying to place. Like, you have to place them on the floor first. Like, peasant. Why can't I put a blanket on here, guys? <laughs> it's literally a bed, and it's not letting me put a blanket. Okay, that's just going to have to do for that area there. I've added these tall, massive windows. The bedside tables are going to be these fancy drawers. We're going to have a fancy lamp. Ah! Really? Face button, the for sale sign. Okay, I'm back in. I don't know what my connection is doing today. Maybe my Wi-Fi box is broken. And that wasted like a minute of my time. My precious time. See guys, this already, isn't this much more beautiful than the modern room to you? And just how much more aesthetic is the furniture? Like look at the bench. Oh, it's so pretty. And I'm sorry, building that window sofa was literally one of the best ideas I've had in my whole life. Now we have four minutes. Look what I've done. You know the other thing that's always in a fancy room? A vanity. And then, of course, this stool. And I don't know whose room this is. This isn't for me. I don't wear makeup. Whoever lives in this room might wear makeup. So I'm going to accommodate for them, okay? Fancy rooms like this. Their closets are literally to die for. Like, they are massive, I swear. And the budget's actually gone pretty well on this room. We still have 24 grand left. And guys, I'm actually going to add an island. And on top of it, we can have some, like, sunflowers or something. Do you know what I forgot to put in the other closet in the other room? A mirror. So this is already going to be an upgrade just by having a small piece of mirror. What are mirrors actually made of? That might sound like a really dumb question, but that's actually my biggest, like, question in life. Also, the other thing they have in fancy rooms a lot is creepy dolls. Now, we don't really have creepy dolls, so we're gonna have to add creepy teddy bears instead. You might be wondering, Reese's, you forgot to colour the walls. That is the what I've left. We have 1 minute 11 left, and that's because I wanted to add custom fancy wallpaper. Oh my gosh, we have 38 seconds, and I haven't added any roof beams. It's like the most important thing. Oh my gosh, 12 seconds. Let We can get a chandelier. We can get a chandelier. We'll just get one like this. <gasps> that scared me so much. There is something so triggering about the noise of an alarm. But again, we finished way over budget, which is good. And I'm so excited to see the luxury room. Let's not even wait. <gasps> oh my gosh. This already is 10 times better than the modern room to me. Again, for those who are going to vote at home, here's an overview. As you walk in, my favorite part has got to be this little custom seat thing. Yes, you can't actually sit on it, but you can dance on it. Yes, we're at the club. Over here is the bed. Oh my gosh, who is in my bed? Goldilocks is in my bed! Anyway, there's some more really nice windows and the wallpaper. <gasps> we have our vanity. Oh my gosh, the store is facing the wrong way. God, I'm going downtown with my building skills in here. Anyway, last but not least, we have my favourite part, which is the lovely closet. My personal rating of this room is 8 out of 10. But let's see if we can do even better with the pastel room. Other than once, I've never built in pastel before, so I'm thrilled. And this is actually going to be the first room, which is a complete square. Don't worry, it's not going to say square for long. I'm going to use these inverted wedges. 
I love the word wedges. It's like, you know, the chips. And the good thing about this being an interior only build is it doesn't really matter if the basic shapes look messy from the outside. Anyway, it looks a bit dark, but can you guys see what I mean? It's like when you have an attic room. Now, I think the colors obviously need to be like a light blue. And you guys might be thinking, who would have this? A kid. So this is going to be the kid's bedroom. Obviously, we've just been doing like normal adult bedrooms. This is going to be a kid's bedroom. And they're going to be one lucky kid. I mean, look how big this room is. And don't ask me how we've already used like two minutes of our time. Anyway, you might be wondering what this is. Here's some vines I made earlier. You know vines are all the rage. I thought the pastel bedroom is going to be all trendy, like why not have some vines? And since it's a kid's room, they're probably going to have some cutey little like design. We're going to give them pink pastel polka dots. That is the cutest little bed. Okay, that will definitely go in the corner. Next to it, we need to have an end table. Which one looks? <gasps> this one. <laughs> Didn't even get time to finish my sentence. This one by far, if we do it like blue and green. Oh, and they have to have a little pengu lamp. I Wait, is that what it's called? Also cubbies. They have to have cubbies. What kind of room would it be without these? And also not to get really like babyish, but they should probably have a toy kitchen. Because I have my toy kitchen till like last year. No, I'm joking. But I did actually have it till I was like 10 years old. Maybe that's why I'm such a chef. Like I actually love cooking now. I'm going to add tissues, even though if you've got this much color in your life, you ain't going to need tissues because you ain't going to be crying. You're going to be so happy. And is it just me or does this ivy actually look like really ugly? I think what could really help this room is some windows. And here can be where we have their desk. So a desk as a kid is actually such an important thing. Like it teaches you how to sit down and work hard, which obviously you need for the real world. I don't know what kind of spoiled kid this is to have a 5,000 grand computer. And I'm also going to add a phone. Not that you need a phone at this age, but did anyone else used to like use an old broken phone and pretend they had one? Whoa, the budget is actually going quick on this one for once. Oh my gosh, I just glanced at the timer. Five minutes, 21 left. That is not good at all. Right, I'm just going to put like some giraffe print. Also curtains. I haven't really added many curtains. I really don't like this style of room, but when I was like five, I loved it. I think we can also have some LEDs. How wonky is that, man? Now, when you're young, you kind of have wardrobes. You don't really have like a closet because you just don't have that many clothes. And now we just have this massive empty space. Do you know what? I don't care. They're going to have a little play area over here. I'm going to give them like cute toys, like a platypus. I've also stolen this chair from the modern bedroom because I feel like they should have a nanny or something reading to them here. We'll obviously pastelify that chair. Oh my gosh, 10 seconds left. Right? I think we need some more lights underground. It's looking a bit dark. Uh, one second. Okay, the pastel room is done and I'm kind of ashamed. Look, even my other avatar's like, girl, what did you do with that room? Okay, this is the last pastel room. It could have been worse. Please ignore these LED lights. I don't know what I was thinking. The first little area is the play area. They have their clothes over here, their toys, all that kind of jazz. Like, I've just realized, is there like a duck on its head? My favorite area and the main area is this place. The bed with the vines, the cubby, and the donuts. But just as a refresher in your minds, this is the modern room, this is the luxury room, and this is the pastel room. And that's me. Bonus points because I'm in this one. No, but seriously, please comment your honest opinion and vote of which one's your favorite down below. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed like a different kind of video. Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that, and I'll see you all in the next one.